Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf. In today's episode, I've got three special setup keys for you. Yes, the foundation, the setup, the foundation from which everything in the golf swing happens. These three simple keys can have a huge impact on your ball striking. I want you puring it shot after shot. Why wouldn't you want to pure it shot after shot? I don't know, I'm afraid. I don't, I'm not ready to handle all of this awesomeness. Come on, you can do it. You know you can do it. I know, I'm just so afraid. If I hit it better, then my handicap will go down and I'll lose money. Just shut up and have more fun. Who cares about the money? You know what I'm talking about? These three little keys, that's all, little keys, have the hugest impact on your ball striking. So, let's get started. Subscribe to this channel if you want the best ball striking in your life because I'm gonna help you get there in a body friendly and simplified manner. Now, let's get on with the lesson. Okay, the setup, it's your foundation. It's the bottom of a house. If you don't have a foundation on your house, the house falls. The foundation is so important to the golf swing. These three tips, I swear, if you do these three things, you'll hit it so much better immediately. And it helps the swing work a lot better too. I want you to play your best golf now. Stop wasting your time and stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna talk about part one of the setup, which most of you know this one already, but it's so important. We're gonna preset the weight forward in our front leg, 55 to 60%. What it's gonna feel like to you is 80 to 20% because most of you are taught to shift your weight to the back and shift your weight through. In the golf swing, we wanna have one point of contact every single time. And if you want one point of contact every single time, then you need to set your weight forward because it prevents you from shifting back. Not only that, but it helps you to keep your body over the golf ball, which is key for crispy, clean contact. You experience a ton of inconsistency when you shift back because it moves your point of contact in the direction of the shift. If you keep your body over the golf ball, you can return the club to the same spot every single time. But when I shift back, I've now moved my point of contact that way. I see it all day long. It's like one giant rerun of the scariest movie ever. I don't wanna see it ever again. So we're setting our weight forward in the setup. Feel like this and keep it there throughout the golf swing. But in the setup, it's valuable, incredibly valuable because it sets your body over the golf ball. In the setup, we set up over the golf ball. You may have heard the term covering the golf ball. It essentially means that your chest is pointed down covering the top of the golf ball. It's a feeling. But when you get this covering feeling, you can keep your weight forward and hit the ball more solid because you're not shifting your body off of the golf ball. Now let's hit some shots. If you want to feel how this works, just set about 80% of your weight forward. Feel like you're leaning forward, like your head's in front of the ball like this, and hit some shots. That feels good. You're gonna need to feel 80-20. I just gave a lesson to a guy today and I set him in the right spot and he said, I don't feel any weight on my back leg. That feels wrong. Of course it feels wrong. If you spent your whole life with your weight back here and I put you here, of course it's gonna feel like 100% and 0%. You need to match up feel versus real. So get that weight forward now to experience some awesome contact. Point number two, which influences your ball striking so much in the setup is the position of your hands. This one is great because it presets the proper impact position. And what's the proper impact position? Well, when the club comes into the golf ball to meet the golf ball and say hello, the hands and the club shaft angled forward ahead of the golf ball. So the grip end is ahead of the club. The hands are forward. Did you know that in your setup we can preset that? and have that happen naturally without us thinking about it. I see a lot of people out there trying to work on getting their hands forward, and this can really screw you up. Because it, if you're working on getting your hands forward like this, it can change your point of contact in an instant. All this impact position is, is one split second in time. It's not somebody trying to push forward. It's not somebody doing that with all their might, no. The impact position is just a stationary snapshot in time, and it's the result of a golfer who starts with their hands forward and set up, takes the club back, and just turns back to the ball right to where they started. They're not spending time throwing that club forward. That's a big misconception with the hands forward drill. A lot of people think they need to throw their hands at the ball. No, that causes you to have poor contact. We need to get our hands forward, but the way you do it is you preset it in your setup. We preset good impact in our setup. So here's what we do. Set up normal, 
And you see I've got the club straight on line with my belt. That's not where I want my impact position to be. So what I'm going to do is move my lead hand inside of my left thigh right here, my lead thigh. That presets the hands forward, it presets the impact position. Don't change it. Now throughout the swing, just keep it in this position and swing the club. You'll hit ball first almost every time. The hand position is super critical and here's why. The hand position determines your point of contact. So think of it this way, just like the weight, the hand position tells the club where to go into the ground. Well, if you want to hit ball first and take a nice, beautiful divot in front of it, I suggest you get your hand position right. Here's how it works. As the hands move more forward, my point of contact moves more forward. As the hands move more backward in my setup, the point of contact moves more backward behind the ball. So there's an optimal hand position that works for everybody. It just happens to be with the weight forward and the hands forward right here. That setup tells the club that it should go into the ground hitting the ball first, taking a divot right here. A beautiful, crispier than KFC divot. And then once you've got this set up, just swing the club back and through. You'll hit ball first almost every time. If you set up with your hands behind like this, you're setting up to chunk it all day long. And that's why I'll tell people in bunker shots, set up with your hands a little bit back and then aggressively swing through, you can blast the ball out every single time. Or set up for a flop shot, put your hands back, your weight forward, and swing aggressive. You'll hit behind it all day long. You don't want to do that on a full swing. On a full swing off the fairway, you want to get your weight forward, your hands inside of your front thigh, and then just swing. Don't focus on forcing your hands forward through impact. Just focus on what's natural. Preset it and forget about it. It's a lot easier that way. Setup point number three, and this one is massive. This is the big kahuna of all setup points. This one is so simple, has such a big impact. Why is it that the smallest things have the largest impact? I don't know, tell me. Why is it that you don't care about the foundation of the golf swing enough to get it right? Shots fired. <laughs> so we gotta get the foundation right if you wanna hit the ball well. It's so simple, build the foundation, the swing gets so much easier. What I'm referring to in the big kahuna tip is your spines tilt over the golf ball. What I'm talking about is seeing your shoulders, your hips, and your knees in a straight line, stacked over top of each other like boxes. My shoulders, over the hips, over the knees, all in a straight line. Now why does this matter? Well, your spine tilt influences where the contact point's going to be. So when I set up to the golf ball, I've got my shoulders, hips, knees in a straight line, and I'm covering the golf ball with my chest. Everything is over the golf ball, so when I swing the club back, I keep my body over the golf ball, and then the club returns back to the same spot every time. You also notice when I swing, my body's staying within these two boundaries. Why is this important? Well, when you're over the golf ball, you can tell your shoulders to turn in a circle. And when they turn in a circle, the club follows this magical circle of the swing, going back and through, keeping your contact point in the same spot. It's only when we see this that things go wrong. Your contact point is also determined by the spine angle at address. So I'm tilting away here, naturally setting me up to hit behind the ball. So if you hit a lot of thin shots, a lot of hooks, you're set up with too much tilt away from the ball, you've got no choice but to miss the ground and hit it thin. Or you've got no choice but to swing too low and into out like this, causing a hook. The proof is in the pudding right here in the setup. You know that? Not only that, but with my tilt away, I can't turn my front shoulder down. I turn my shoulders level, and this causes me to have no relationship to the ground, so I will never hit the ball clean. You need to have this relationship with the ball to hit it clean every single time. But the second I start tilting away and away and away, you start hitting behind, behind, or you start missing the ground altogether. And you have back pain. You see something looks like this. A thin shot low on the face and you can't get your weight forward there's no way so this one is huge it has an insane impact on your contact the big kahuna really matters because from this big kahuna you can turn your shoulders in a circle you can keep your weight more forward and then the hands forward will help you hit the ball very solid every single time 
How do we practice this? Well, get two sticks in the ground and probably place them next to your hips like this. And then just turn, making sure that you keep your body within the confines of these two sticks and you'll be just fine. That will ensure that you're not tilting away. As I tilt away, I will bump into a stick. Or as I tilt too far forward, I'll bump into the other stick. You shouldn't be either way, you should be just perfectly straight up and down like this. That will be your best friend. So, Segudo golfers, if you do these three contact tips, you will hit the ball much more solidly and all the swing moves that I'm teaching you will happen more effortlessly. Who doesn't want that? It gets easier and easier and easier and easier and simpler. Let's go get a cake and celebrate. Spend less time whining and schnibbling about your terrible golf game and just do these simple things. You hit the ball better. It's right here. It's three simple setup keys. Get you playing your best golf right now. These little setup keys get the swing working the way it should. All right, so good dog offers. These three setup keys will help you play your best golf right now. You're gonna like the way you swing. I guarantee it. The big kahuna of them all, keeping your body in a straight line stacked over top of the golf ball but also keeping the hands forward and the weight forward helps you to hit the ball in the same spot every single time and gets the swing to work like buttery, crispy bacon. You can do that, I want it for you. Thanks for tuning in and if you wanna get on a systematic approach to playing your best golf right now, I highly recommend you go to my website, segudo.golf, sign up for a $10 a month program and you can learn this in a systematic process where I show you how to do everything movement based and it's really simple to repeat. It's a lot more in depth than these videos and also if you see somebody who's struggling on the range and they've been doing the same old crappy habits for the past 20 or 30 years not getting better, please end their suffering by sending them to Segudo Golf on YouTube where they can learn a simplified, fun, body-friendly approach to the game that might just change their golfing life. We're out here to make better golfers out of everybody, keep the game more fun, simple. I want you out there playing your best golf right now. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you on Saturday.